Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com. In strength of material, let us discuss about thermal stress in composite bars. The figure shows a composite bar consisting of two members, a bar of brass and, and another of a steel. Let the composite bar be heated through some temperature. If the members are free to expand, then no stress will be induced in the members. But the two members are rigidly fixed and hence the composite bar as a whole will expand by the same amount. Here, these bars are free to expand. There is no stress induced because of the heating, because there is no external force applied here. But here, as a composite bar, but the two members are rigidly fixed and hence the composite bar as a whole will expand by the same amount by the same amount as the coefficient of linear expansion of brass is more than that of the steel the brass will expand more than the steel hence the free expansion of brass will be more than that of the steel but both the members are not free to expand and hence the expansion of composite bar as a whole will be less than that of the brass. This whole expansion is less than that of the brass but more than that of the steel. Hence the stress, stress induced in the brass will be compressive because the brass should have to expand more but it is it is stopped here due to that compressive force compressive stress is created in brass bar and in steel tensile stress is produced now we'll discuss further let a b area of cross section of brass bar sigma b stress in bar stress in brass stress in brass bar AB is strain in brass. Alpha B is coefficient of linear expansion coefficient of linear expansion for brass same like AS Sigma S AS Alpha S for steel bars that means area stress strain coefficient of linear expansion for steel is given like now and e eb is Young's modulus for brass and is Young's modulus for steel.
now load load on load on the brass load on brass bar is stress in brass bar and area of brass bar load on steel equal sigma s to area of steel for the equilibrium of the system compression in copper should be equal to tensile in steel for equilibrium equilibrium of system system we can say compress compression in copper equal tension in steel here here compression in brass and tension in steel not compression brass compression cop brass here not copper here compression in bar equal tension in steel or you can see further or further we can say load on the brass load on brass equal load on steel so sigma load on brass equal load on steel that is sigma b into ab ab equal load on steel sigma steel into area of steel also we know that actual expansion of steel actual expansion of steel equal free expansion of steel free expansion of steel plus expansion due to due to tensile stress due to tensile stress in steel that is we can use this one as alpha is coefficient of expansion of steel temperature change original length plus sigma steel by Young's modulus of steel into L like that and actual expansion of copper actual expansion of copper is free expansion of copper minus contraction due to due to compressive stress
compressive stress induced in in brass here here brass is compressed and steel should be exp expanded that means uh, compressive force in brass and tensile force in steel is created to make the both expansion is same then so we have therefore we can write alpha for this we can write this on brass alpha brass temperature change length minus because of contraction sigma brass over x modulus brass into length l so this both are equal now this actual expansion steel and actual expansion in copper both are equal therefore we can write alpha s t and both side l is cut that is alpha s t plus sigma s over e s equal alpha brass into t minus sigma b over Yes, where T is raised in temperature. From this, we can, by using this ex expression, we can find the required things. We have done. Please subscribe our YouTube channel.